Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. You're no doubt aware that lithium ion batteries such as these LifePo 4 cells, you can't charge them when they get frozen zero degrees or below. Um, you'll damage them beyond repair. As such, many manufacturers are now offering batteries with built-in heaters. These are even more expensive than the standard non-heated -heat versions. The heated versions may be over £100 more than a non-heated version, which I just think is ridiculous. So I've been looking for more affordable options to prevent batteries from freezing. <coughs> Excuse me. In the earlier video I did, you would have seen that I'm using a 40 watt heated pad with some ceramic tiles to help protect my battery. And so far that's been working pretty good for me. You could do the same, of course, or you could use one of these very inexpensive, and I mean very inexpensive, really thermostats in conjunction with 12 volt heat pads. It's a versatile little unit and in this video I'll show you how it works and how you can maybe implement it into your own system. You'll see I'm using little ferrules for the cables, it just makes it a lot tidier. So I've made my connections and so we've got our ground from the fan or the heating pad going to the ground on the board. We have our positive feed in. At the moment I'm just powering it from the 9 volt battery. And then the positive, the power in to the fan to, to kick it in is at K0. But what we've got to do if it's wired in this scenario is to use a bridge between the 12 volt and K1. But before we even get started there, Let's look at some of the settings that we've got. To access the menu, you just press and hold set for a couple of seconds. And you'll see it came up with PO. Do it again. PO. What we want to do is we want to see H. It's at C. So we've switched over to H. That's for the heating. We now want to tell it what temperature we want to keep our batteries at. So again, we access the menu, press and hold. That's it blinking. So we can now set, I wasn't quick enough. Let it reset. So we want to set our temperature to whatever we need it to be. So let's set it for 12. So we'll set it for 12 degrees. So that's it programmed. So if the temperature drops to 12 degrees, the thermostat will supply power to the relay, which will then start your fan. And I'm going to show you that next. So I've got a tub of ice cream. Looks nice. And we've got our fan here. I'm going to try and hopefully you can see all this. And there's the, the thermostat there. So if I place it in ice cream, we should see that temperature drop away down. And then when it gets to our level, the fan should kick in. So it's, there you go. And so the fan's now running. Now this is off a 9 volt battery, uh, which is great. You can do it with your 12 volt. I've got a temperature probe. As soon as I bring the temperature back up, once it goes above 11 degrees, the fan will turn off. So your heating pad will get power once it gets to a predetermined temperature, it will switch off again. Very inexpensive, very versatile. This is one way of using it. The other way is to have an independent supply coming into this side. So you'd still have, that would be a positive feed coming into K1. And that would be your load side. 
all the other settings on when you press that PO, you can ignore them. There's like seven different settings. Just ignore them. They don't apply. Keep things simple. I hope this video has helped you. Um, leave a comment below and uh, thank you for watching.